can start it from my phone. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I actually got a new camera. So before I used to use the Canon G7X Mark II, but I recently want a GoPro because I am going to Southeast Asia. Yay! So uh, it's a whole story of why I'm going to Southeast Asia. So one of my life goals is I want to work at a foreign country. So I decided to get an working holiday visa for Australia. So I am planning to go there end of April. I sent in my resignation letter a few days ago. I worked at this place for three years. It's a very long time. Honestly, it was kind of sad to actually send in that resignation letter because I love the people. Although the work can be very hectic, the team is just great. So I was kind of feeling bittersweet. But anyway, so because I'm going to Australia, I was thinking, oh, it might be a good idea to take a couple of months and go to Southeast Asia and go to Australia right away. But that plan didn't really work out. My family were going to do an all-inclusive trip. And my dad actually wanted to do it end of March because of the snow in Canada. We have a lot to avoid the whole snow piling up in our front yard. And because we have a sidewalk uh, in our property, we have to continuously shovel that and make it clean for everyone who walks by. So we booked a Cancun trip end of March. So because of that, I have to go to Southeast Asia, come back, go to Cancun, come back to Toronto, and then go to Australia. So that's the whole background of why I'm going to Southeast Asia. The countries I'll be going to is Thailand and Vietnam. So first, I'll be going to Thailand for a month, and then Vietnam for another month. Coincidentally, um, my grandpa on my mom's side, his 80th birthday is this or next year. So they're doing a little trip to Thailand <laughs> uh, mid-March. So I'll be joining them in Thailand after all my solo traveling and spend about a bit less than a week, like five days uh, together which is amazing. The reason I started this video is I wanted to show you what I packed. This whole thing in the back is just for the Southeast Asia trip. I thought it would be a good idea to have a backpack instead of a carry-on or a luggage with wheels because I know a lot of the cities don't have paved roads. bought this from Amazon. The brand is called Mountain Top. And I got it for Black Friday deals, but this is the 70 liter one. It has a lot of pockets on the side and at the front. Um, I think there are also stuff you can place you can put in the bottom as well. Um, also the top has storage. A lot of spaces, a lot of pockets, which I love. To be honest, from what I have here so far, I don't even know if 70 liter is enough. I am a maximalist, so it is gonna be a bit difficult for me to pack everything. Another thing is the GoPro. I recently bought a GoPro for the Black Friday sale and I got their adventure package, which was the same price as getting the camera by itself. So with this, it has this thing then you put this on the head and you attach your GoPro you can film it that way and it also included a handler which I'm using right now so I another bought another package from Amazon that has a lot of the accessories so in here it has all of these so a case chest wrap head wrap the battery charger two batteries tripods, waterproof case. There are glass films for your camera lenses. Yeah, just a lot of the things. It has this thing too for when, it, when you go to the water and you don't want to lose your GoPro, you can use this. It was also on sale, so 
it was not that expensive. And another thing here is the dry bag. I didn't know it would be this big. I wanted a dry bag for when I go to the beach. I just don't want my stuff to get wet. This also includes a small separate bag for your phone as well. My iPhone 15 Pro actually fits in here, so it's good. And another thing I bought from the Black Friday sale is this Potensic Atom drone. <sighs> I was contemplating if I really want to buy a drone or not, but I feel like the footages will be amazing. This honestly wasn't even that expensive compared to other drones because they can go up to like thousand dollars and I wasn't gonna buy a drone that expensive, especially when I'm new to it as well. See like I didn't even open it yet. I need to register this if I wanted to practice uh, flying in Canada before I go to Thailand. I also need to register this when I go to Thailand and Vietnam as well. So that's something on my to-do list before I go. These two are hair oils, and this is a nourishing mask, and this is this this is a spray, but it's supposed to be for humidity-proof powers. I think it's gonna be pretty humid in Southeast Asia. My hair can get pretty frizzy, so I'm hoping to try this and it'll work. This is how my bag looks right now. <laughs> oh my god, I can't fit everything in. I think I need to pack less. Because I'll be bringing this with me for my long layovers and I don't want it to be too heavy, I just want essentials. So I was hoping everything would fit in here. <laughs> It is a bit better now. I think I can work with this. Hey! <laughs> so today is December 30th. That means I have about 9 days, 10 days until I fly out to Thailand. And honestly, I have been feeling very anxious. I don't know why. I think it's because a lot has been going on at work. Just because I have to transfer all my projects to my coworkers. And we have a lot of trackers for each project. And I have not been keeping up with some of them. So I'm very behind. And that's taking a long time for me to actually prep the project transfer. And my parents got COVID, so I have to take care of them. Unfortunately, it was literally right around their birthdays. We were supposed to go out for dinner, but my mom got COVID first. And then later on, a few days after, my dad got positive for COVID. So I've been taking care of them in the past few days. And the packing is also kind of stressful. Uh, I did buy a 70 liter backpack. But I feel like for two months, it's not enough for me. So the way I pack is I think of every possibility or every possible situation that I can be in in any of the places that I'm going to. And that leads to a lot of outfits that I want to pack. Uh, my backpack is already overflowing and I just hope I don't have much else to pack. So as of now, all I need to pack is my makeup and that's it. 
like my bags are gonna be so packed. I don't even know if I'll have any space to buy souvenirs. I can probably buy small ones but not anything big. Because I've read some blogs on how people uh, pack for their Southeast Asia trip and they only did like five t-shirts, two shorts, or two skirts. I'm like, that's nothing. I'm pretty much bringing twice as much as that and it's still not enough to be honest. I just hope everything fits. And also with my planning, two months of planning is a lot to do. I'm a J. Like if you guys are into MBTIs, I'm a J. So I'm a planner. I have so far have a list of all the activities I want to do in each city for both Thailand and Vietnam and I've pretty much finished Thailand itinerary so I have a list of activities that I want to do on each day and where I'm gonna stay for each city and like the websites for excursions and tours. I've done all that but I haven't done day-by-day -day planning for Vietnam yet. <sighs> I don't know, it's just been a lot of planning on top of work and I'm trying to finish up my Korea videos uh, before I leave but I don't think that's gonna happen because I just posted Busan vlog part one and there's also part two, there's Jeju Island, Gyeongju, there's also Seoul that I did for solo traveling. Um, yes, I won't be able to finish and I'm trying to post every day on Instagram in my like travel Instagram account and I haven't been doing that every single day probably like every other day it's, that's also a lot of work making reels every day that's ah oh, it's like a full-time job also on the way to Thailand I have like a seven and a half hour layover in Narita and I heard that there is a onsen like 30 minutes from the airport so I'm hoping that I have time to visit the onsen because that'll be awesome like after a 13 hour flight being in a hot springs that'll be amazing so i'm excited for that i think the next video will be me finish packing and yeah going to the airport to go to the trip so i'm pretty much all packed up I have a bit of space in here, so if I end up getting some souvenirs, it'll fit. Um, in my bag, my backpack will also be a bit flexible in terms of space. I just need to put um, my makeup and that would be it. And for this trip, I really wanted to try the ink box, so I bought like five temporary tattoos from here and I was thinking of doing it today because it takes 24 hours to 36 hours until it darkens so by the time I get to Thailand it'll, I'll have a full tattoo but it takes 60 minutes <laughs> I have to leave it out for 60 minutes oh my gosh I don't know I'm gonna be taking a shower tomorrow so I'll probably be able to do it tomorrow if anything yeah, I'm probably not gonna do it today. Is this right? Is this supposed to be this big? Oh my god. I feel like I need to measure this. So it says it's 16 kilograms. Hmm. 